Whoa, it's Wolsey. Today, I am going to be reacting to the Geometry Dash 2020 Awards results live. There's 4K people in here. The chat is on 15 second slow mode. I can't believe that. Look how fast it's going right now. I'm going full screen on this. I don't have any idea who's going to win each category. I feel like it's going to be very close. So close, in fact, that I don't even remember who I voted for certain categories because it's a toss up of which one I like more. Some days I prefer one of them. The other day I prefer the other. So I have no idea. Honestly, just depending on my mood changes the outcome of who I would have voted at the time. So it took me a very long time to actually decide. We're going. Okay, the Geometry Dash 2020 awards. Let's get it. The best auto level. All right. I think for this one, I put a last by Tohi. Oh, we get the racing percentages. Oh, yes. Okay, Alas is the winner. Tohi is an underdog in this, by the way. Jeez. I remember when this level first came out, I was baffled. The best XL demon. I don't remember what was nominated. Uh, I think I put Star Punk for this one. That level's a masterpiece. Oh, wow. Wow. Future Funk had that by a long shot. Holy moly. This level does bump. Yeah, damn. I could barely play this one, like... In going in practice mode, it just lags so much. That was a big turnoff for me for actually going for it. Best demon mega collab. I think I put Castle Mania, and I think it's going to win by a long shot. Holy moly. Okay, these are the ones that aren't very close, okay? Yeah, there was no questions asked on that one. What a banging level, honestly. How could you not vote this one? There's so many different options. Best extreme demon. Cold sweat. Cold sweat. Come on. Come on. There's going to be people mad if EXO wins. Oh, Accu, I was expected to be more. Okay, cold sweat. Let's go. Let's go. That's technically a dub. That's a dub for Paris Minx and me. Let's go. I made the background on screen. Let's go. All right. All right. Best modern level. Okay. I think it has to be Dreamflower on this one. Yep. By a mile. Oh my god. Best effect level. Okay. Yeah. How was obviously going to win? Like, what? How do you explain what's on the screen right now? How do you put that into words? Crazy transitions and everything, man. How is actually an underluck level, even though it's won the awards by a landslide. That level is actually so cool. Okay, best art level. I don't remember what I voted. Honestly, I have no idea. I might have put Eden's Blessing on this one. Or Paper World. I love that level. Doodle is a fantastic level. Best design level. Uh, I don't remember what I voted on this one either. Honestly, I might have voted sleepless, I can't lie. I was in the 1.8%. Was that the lowest on there? Wow. Okay, Sedulous was kind of a no-brainer on this one. That level is an absolute banger. Oh, best mini game. Uh, probably VVV by Radiation V2. Yeah, I put that one, but chess. Wow, I haven't actually seen this level before. I haven't really been paying attention to the mini game ones. Best boss fight. Okay, I think it has to be Ultra Violence, but Molten Gear. I thought, okay, I thought I had a chance for a second. Nah, Ultra Violence is just too boss fight set to not win best boss fight, you know? Best song. I don't remember what's on here, honestly. I think I might have put Creo Epilogue. Oh, but these are all so good. I would not be mad if Exit This Earth's Atomosphere won. I can't even say the name of it. Wow, okay. That was close, actually. Okay, yeah, 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 okay. Best artist. Okay, I think... I don't remember, but I think I put Lokash. This is gonna be really close, and I'm not mad at whoever wins. Oh, wow, Geox... Oh, my God. Geox or Tuck, that one. I don't even know how you say the name, but... Very, very good choice. There's a lot of these songs that I didn't recognize were by Geox or. Like, I knew the songs from being in levels, but, yeah. Big dub for Geox or. Okay, best streamer. I voted for Aeon Air on this, but I think we all know that Nepesta and Juniper are going to run away with this one. I think Nepesta's going to win this, honestly. Yeah. Almost 50% as well. And I love this Bloodlust clip so much. <laughs> this is going to be really interesting. Wow, they're all in the 20%. That's crazy. Oh my god, I thought Doggy was going to win for a second. I would not be mad if Doggy won that, but yeah. Guitar Hero Styles always runs away with this. Those massive bits for the Spanish community. Love this man. I think I did vote for Doggy just because of my respect from editing like 50,000 different videos this year. Best modern creator. I have no idea. I have no idea who's going to win this one. If Nejfu wins, I'll be so happy. I will be so happy if Nejfu wins. But all of these are brilliant choices. RNBW even being nominated as a massive dub. Okay, Zender Game, just, <laughs> just go away with it then. All right. A lot of people don't see him as modern, but Zender Game is really talented at making lots of different styles and effects and stuff. Like, holy moly. He definitely introduced like a new genre of levels. Best effect creator. Come on, Para. I am going to get whacked by Para and JF in this. Let's see it. Let's see it. Oh, 11.9%. Let's go. Bottom of the best effect creator, but it was expected that Para was going to win this. Honestly, I am honored to be on the nomination list. 
12% is still massive out of 26,000. I really appreciate that a lot. Well done, Para. You are a beast. Best art creator. Ooh, I might have voted Amor Ultra on this one. Subwoofer, also a very good choice, but yeah, Amor has done bits this year with PP, Messin, like, oh my god. Big year for Amor. Well done there. Seriously. Best design creator. Um, I might have voted Flash on this one, but Enzo definitely had a massive year this year now that I think about it. Yeah. What a banging choice, honestly. I personally prefer Flash's, like, cleaner style, but... Yeah, Enzo definitely does bits in design. I like that. Best player. Now, I have no idea what I'm talking about here, <laughs> but I'm pretty sure that N-Swish is going to win by a long shot, judging what people are saying and judging by how much N-Swish is actually beaten this year. Sid got a massive percentage there, but N-Swish is just gone. Just gone in the distance. Bye. And that's that. Wow, crazy awards, honestly. I'm so happy for Power winning Best Effect. Let's go. Oh, okay. There's like a little extra addition on the end. Looking at 2020's levels. Oh? Oh, we got like a little movie animation thing for this. Okay. I'm not going to know the names of a lot of these levels, but a lot of them are looking familiar. That's a Castrix level on screen there. Double Dash. That was this year? Wow. Okay. This was a massive year for Geometry Dash levels. Like the really big ones, you know? Peaceful. Yep. That was a massive level this year. You cannot be discluded from anything. That literally popped off on YouTube. Like, millions of views were given to that level. Alas by Tohi. Another very deserved winner from an underdog in that category, honestly. I'm really happy for that. That bird was insane. Kid Smoke as well. That was also a massive level that came out. I love that level a lot. See, watching this video is so crazy because if you asked me without any references at all to name, like, banging levels from 2020, I would forget a lot of them. But looking back through here, there are some really, really cool levels that I would just not think of straight away you know and I think part of that is just because creating has become so diverse like everyone has their own style there's so many different styles to work with and choose from you can't really think of one level and like chain loads of them together you have to think of all the different styles and stuff oh Morse by Jeff. I actually want to make a video on that level that level's really cool wow nice running animation there Starpunk! I love that level. That's one of my favorites of the year for sure. Metropolis by Destacy is that. There's a lot of design levels here. I think I spot Reverence there. See, look, it's jumping from style to style so much. That's exactly what I mean. How? Yeah, obviously. City Rush, also a very cool mega collab. The Anubis one, Serpent's Wrath, I think it's called. Cold Sweat! Let's go! Sminx popped off at the end there. That's awesome. <laughs> The YouTube premiere quality is kind of ruining a lot of these levels, honestly. The fact that it gets so compressed when you're watching it live. <laughs> this is really a reminder that I should go back and check out 2020 for its levels, man. Hi, Spirit! Yo! I technically made it into the awards. I'll take that. Yes. And then was that Snowblind at the end? Dope. Oh, you got Doggy on the montage. I see you, Viperin. I see you. Nice committee there, too. You guys popped off with this. And the music, too. Creo and Geoxo. Trophy icon Optical. Wow. Scorch VX2, very talented artist. Special thanks to Rob Top, the gangster himself. And that's that. Whoa, it's Woolsey. I've got two quick things to say at the end of this video. The first being that I'm taking a break from uploading content to YouTube since I've just finished two massive projects that are beating Cataclysm and finishing the High Spirits building series. I've been on a content grind for about three months straight, so I think now is a good time to sit out for a few weeks and catch up with the world and my schoolwork. The last thing I want to say right now is that 2020 was an awesome year for Geometry Dash, and I'm honored to even be nominated for this show, honestly, let alone the 11% I got in the vote. I want to thank the committee quickly right now, just to show appreciation for the awards even being put on. I think the editing and presentation was clean as always, and I'm glad it was actually punctual this year as a nice kickstart to 2021, which I'm sure is going to have massive potential for the game, especially after watching that sick montage at the end. Doggy killed that. Hope everyone's year goes well, and I'll see you on the flip side. Thank you for watching this video. Check the links in the description, leave a like and subscribe, and have a good day.